This show was strangely violent. It wasn't your typical TV show where cartoons had their own themes with running gags or displaying aggression in which the perpetrators suffer every kind of abuse without being harmed. There were no gags, not many goofy antics besides Spritel and Chim Chim, and it was only aimed at a specific audience. Yet, it still became a major hit. What's even more strange is the fact that this TV series is targeted to children. The TV series is an adaptation of the manga that's labeled as a shonen. Now, you probably haven't heard anything strange from what I've been saying so far, so let me just repeat what I said. This TV series is targeted to children. What the fuck were they thinking? Like, th there's just death? Death and foolish murder. Even in the intro, someone dies. This motherfucker died in the bathroom. Look at the explosion, look! No ambulance is coming for him. You, you also want me to believe that this baby face is purely innocent because every situation that he's pulled into is established as self-defense? His brother doesn't give a shit, like this is clearly just another Monday for him. I forgot to mention that halfway into making this video, I decided to tweak the premise a bit. Basically, I'm going to combine the violent and wacky parts of the show. Just wanted to clear that up for anyone that ends up getting confused. Now, give me a second, I, I, I gotta move something. So let me clear something up right quick. Speed Racer is the adaptation of the Japanese anime called Mak Go Go Go. Mak Go 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 is based on a two volume manga that's about automobile racing. Obviously. It was first created and designed by Tatsuo Yoshida in the 1960s and created an anime adaptation in 1967. The series consisted of 52 episodes that eventually produced a modernized version of Mach Go Go Go, which aired on TV Tokyo ABC, which only lasted about 32 to 34 episodes. During this time, cartoons were different. Speed Racer is not like Looney Tunes, it's not like Popeyes, and I'm damn sure it's not like Ren and Stimpy. Those shows stem around cartoon violence, which heightens the comedic factor. Who doesn't love seeing someone get blown the fuck up? Violence in cartoons was intense back in the day and people loved it. You know, before the whole cultural censorship of You can't be putting this bowl on the TV. Think about the kids. Well, I say fuck those bald headed ass bitches. They ain't shit for nothing. Now, when I say a cartoon show labeled for family, I am not going to understand why this shit was so violent. Yes, I have taken note of the existence of shows like Family Guy, South Park, and a few others for how graphic the scenes can be. However, Speed Racer was made in the 90s. It had to be held to standards that were made during when it was created and aired. Nowadays, your regular cartoon heroes aren't casually committing manslaughter and homicide with no regard for human life. Not only has this man shot down people, he has run them off the road, and it does not bother him at all. It's not the most horrific thing, but it's still violent. Speed Racer does not condone hit and run in other various forms of violence. It's a f cartoon, viewer discretion is advised. Be aware that I'm going to talk about Speed and Rex for a bit. So a lot of people like to talk about Speed. He's a daring and extremely talented racer. You know what I think? I think this dude is just straight up crazy. The amount of deaths in this show is insane. Every episode, there's always a brutal car crash. They don't show the bodies and you can tell that they're not coming out of that alive. Do you remember that one incident he had? The motorcyclist incident? It's when Speed brutally runs over 36 motorcyclists and then crushes two more in a very horrifying way. Just, just take a look at this. And when the odds are against him and there's dangerous work to do, he'll take your life. Speed Racer, just to see it through. Speed does not care. So many people die in front of him that he has no emotional reaction. His acceptance is very fast and very grim. In his defense, he doesn't start problems. He ends them. 
Speed is so unhinged in the way he does not think twice about committing murder though, even if his enemies deserve it. He jumped in the water to fight a shark with a pocket knife. He even took off his helmet. Sir, how's the car driving this fast with those big balls you got, huh? He hit a helicopter so hard it switched colors. He used his fucking car to take down a helicopter. Do not fight this man, you, you will lose. Then there's that one race that portrays him as a sociopath. The race was about who could carry a pineapple to the finish line first. You had to arrive with the pineapple, otherwise you get disqualified. Trixie implies to Speed that he should lose the race so this guy's sister can get the money so she doesn't die. He says no, he wants to win the race. That at all does not mean Speed wouldn't help out. Trixie, what the hell is wrong with you, girl? At some point, she takes the pineapple out of his car and he loses the race. I get that she needed the money and all, but seriously, the only reason why Speed was pissed was due to being cheated out of the race. If someone beat you in a competition and boasts about being better than you in every way, well, you're damn sure know that you were supposed to win. I mean, I'm not gonna let that slide. Put those hands up, we're scrapping. He laughs it off at the end, so it shouldn't even matter to him. Though, there are times where I do have to question if he's okay in the head. He even yells at his best friend because he thought he was saying he was scared. Nigga, he was worried about you. All he said was, But Speed, the race is too dangerous. At that moment, Speed was going to beat his ass, but Trixie begged him not to. Look at him. Oh, babies, you poor thing. Strangest thing I've seen from the Speed Racer community is no one ever talking about Rex. He is just as guilty as Speed, if not worse. Rex straight up murders people without a second thought. He's a cold killer. Dude is locked in. Thinking that this is a Fortnite championship and has to drop a 50 bomb on these motherfuckers. Like, I am aware that self-defense is always going to be a case that applies to him as well. That's at least from what we know from the provided information we are given throughout the show. Bede said it himself. He wants to beat and be better than Racer X. Being better at everything. And I mean everything. Can we quickly just take the time to appreciate the guns in this show? A show about racing and filled with guns. Fast and Furious? Who? This is Speed Racer, bitch. The gunfights in this show are pretty impressive for something made around this time. They were tense, satisfying, and look at that fast lever action. His name is Speed for a reason, and Trixie is gonna be in season. <laughs> for real though, how, how in the hell do you speed fire a lever action rifle? That is something you cannot do without practice. You saw how he handled that gun. Now I should talk to you about the bad guys of the show. The antagonists and or criminals have two sides. They either want to kill you or want to stop you. If they can't stop you, then they'll try to kill you. The car acrobatic team is a perfect example of antagonists simply because they wanted to beat speed. You got Snake Euler. Snake Euler is one of my personal favorites. It's really too bad that he went out doing what he loved. Hey, you must be Speed Racer. Snake Euler's the name and I'm a pretty good racer myself. Snake's my brother and he's going to bring a glorious victory to the car acrobatic team. I'm gonna win. I'm gonna beat Speed. <laughs> Okay, let's talk about a certain episode I watched. Um, this is the funniest episode so far for how fucking absurd the plot and comedy is. The episode is called The Car Hater. Speed and Trixie meet a young girl named Janine who dreams of becoming a racing driver. Her father, Mr. Trotter, comes along on a horse and catches his daughter driving the Mach 5. The horse gets startled, he falls off, Speed tries to help him out, Janine pushes Speed, Mr. Trotter gets angry and pulls out his whip. Janine attempts to reason with her father, instead gets that ground treatment, and there goes the whipping. He was even about to whip his own daughter, Lamau. This all happens within a fucking minute. It's, it's not even the worst part about this situation. So Mr. Trotter explains why he hates cars so much. A few years ago, his son died in an auto accident, and ever since that day, his hatred burns harder than a fat man's Dutch oven. So Janine shows up to the track, and suddenly, out of nowhere, her father is on the track with his horse. 
Now I want you to watch what happens next. There's no way that he got away with this. His hatred is so bad that he hires three crooks to go around sabotaging all automobiles. These people are dying over something that isn't even their fault. This man is a menace to society. Oh yeah, this happens as well. Despite the show being violent for its time, it really has an endearing effect on me for how it was put together. All these goofy looking animations and voice acting, I, I wouldn't give a crap if you told me that this was bad. I'm always gonna come back to this series. I don't know how to fucking end this video, so here, here's a life lesson for all of you. Be like speed, tackle your problems head on. If you can't beat them, shoot them.